Oh, here we go again with this thing. Yippee. How's it going, everybody? As you can tell by my ridiculous ensemble, it's a little chilly out here today. It was 31 degrees when I woke up this morning, but we've got some work to do on the F-150, primarily changing out these wheel bearings. Um, the, the brake rotors, although rusty, they're okay. They're in good shape. The brake pads are in really good shape. Um, and that brings me to want to show you a really cool tool that I picked up, which is over here. Yeah, I didn't feel like packing these bearings by hand today because of how, how freaking cold it is. Oh yeah, by the way, new bearings, new seals. Yeah, it's way too cold to be packing bearings by hand. Um, so I decided to go and get that little tool. Uh, and there's a couple other things I want to get done on this today. Really need to clean up the inside. Uh, Got to finish up the tailgate. And there's an exhaust leak that uh, I ne really need to get plugged up. And um, so I got my dad's welder. There it is. And uh, I was gonna have a friend of mine do it. And um, she bailed on me, kind of, sort of. <laughs> Not really bailed. She's having some car trouble and, and she's stuck. So she can't come out and help me right now. Uh, so I'm going to try and tackle that myself. Uh, I know a little bit about welding, but not all that much. So this will be interesting to watch. So here we are. Here's the syringe. It's in two pieces. This is what you set the bearing on. You put this on top of it and you just kind of inject it in there. And you have got my wheel bearing grease. And I kind of wanted to put the syringe together and see if I could just suck this out to fill it up instead of just trying to pack this grease in there. But uh, I think it's a little cold and a little too thick to pull that off. Okay, so uh, I'm going to sacrifice a kitchen spoon for this. So, uh, yeah, this, <laughs> don't tell my wife. <laughs> I'm going to cram that in there. Got that pack full of grease. Let's get these little O-rings lubed up. Oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> it's already shooting out the tip. <laughs> I'm getting grease everywhere already. Dang it. Ah! I don't even have a bearing ready. Oh, and yes, I got uh, new bearings and new races. And yes, I will be replacing the race. So, I, but I just, I really want to check this out. I really want to see how this goes. So we got, let me get this out of the way. So we just set that on there. I guess we put this here and we'll shove that in there. Let it push the air out, push it down a little bit. Okay, so it's filled up the cavity there. And, ooh, look, look at that. Look at how that's working. Need a little bit more in there. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Oh, that's cool. Sweet, that's gonna work out awesome. <laughs> Get a good zoom in shot. Yeah, you can see it just coming out right there. That's all you need right there. And then we can just take this excess. We'll just wrap it around on the outside and it should be good to go. That's pretty sweet. I'm happy with that. So in order to get the races out, you got to find the lip of the old one and there it is. And you got to punch those out, which means I get to use one of my favorite tools, hammer, and uh, obviously a punch. So check this out. I'm just going to take this punch. Get it right on the edge of that and just and so now this front one is right on the edge here we can just pull it right out so now we can flip her over one on the back and starting to go now it's towards the back and we can Oh, almost. We might have to prop this up on some blocks. Oh, how convenient. I got some right here. <laughs> it's like I was planning this. Bingo. And the one in the back is out. So we're going to want to clean up this spot here before we put the new race in. And for those of you wondering what it is I'm going to do to make sure that this race is nice and square inside of there without using this and possibly damaging the race. Harbor Freight, baby. Here's our new race. 
and we're gonna wanna find the one that fits. Bingo. That fits pretty good. Use this sucker right here. There we go, snug that up. New race. Get it kinda square and we just Bingo. New race is installed. Flip her over. Clean this one up. Let's go ahead and switch our tool around. You know, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of people already screaming, oh, you don't need to use that screw in there. Yeah, I know. This is just for peace of mind, really make sure that this is actually seated on there correctly. Ta-da! New race installed. We'll get this bearing pack, we'll get this rotor back on, the brakes put back together, and then we'll do the other side. Oh, and as always, new cotter pin. Never reuse cotter pins. Oh, and yes, I've left the fender liners out, uh, mainly just to kind of keep an eye on this thing while it runs, see if there's any leaks or any strange noises or anything like that. Um, once I'm done taking it on what I'm calling the final assurance road test, uh, I'm going to put the fender liners back in and everything should be hunky-dory from that point and we'll be able to sell this thing. All right, this right here is why I'm always saying replace cotter pins with new ones. I put my pliers on this one and it just ripped right off. So, yeah. Got a new one right there. That's where it's going to go. All right. So, I got the thing up on some ramps. Get this over to where I can make the necessary adjudicements. My father along loaning me the welder loaned me this awesome auto darkening helmet that I still can't see a damn thing out of <laughs> let's go ahead and turn this sucker on hopefully that setting is half decent let's give this a crack I think that may or may not do it. Let's find out, shall we? It's about a thousand times better. Well, it ain't pretty, but this ain't a show truck, so at least it's better now. Oh, thank God. So you join me in the F-150 and uh, I owe everybody an apology because while I was making this video, uh, certain footage got lost. Yeah, my, my GoPro does that every once in a while. And unfortunately, there was some really good stuff in there. Uh, and uh, well, I'm mad that it's gone, but there's nothing I can do about it. So uh, I've been kind of working on cleaning this thing up and as much as I hate armor all on interiors, uh, it actually cleaned up the plastics pretty good inside of here. Um, I suck at cleaning carpets, so I'm just gonna let that go. And 
since I suck at cleaning carpets, I also suck at cleaning cloth seats. So it's gonna stay that way. Um, but I do have some floor mats that came with this thing that will clean up and hopefully hide this nasty carpet. But the rest of it, man, ooh, looks pretty good. So now, let's take care of the outside of it, shall we? Okay, uh, allow me first to apologize for the audio quality. I didn't feel like plugging in the mic. Um, got the truck all washed up and it's looking better. But something I really wanted to focus on are the wheels. Um, as we can see, these wheels have definitely seen some better days. And I'm really wanting to try out this Diablo wheel cleaner because I tried it on the excursion and those wheels came out just oh, gorgeous. So I think this will be a pretty good test to see if this stuff is actually worth it. I don't have a whole heck of a lot of it left, um, so I might have to go get more. But uh, let's try it out. It's not the best, but it's better than it was. I think if I do a few more applications, really, really, really let that stuff soak in, it'll really come out nice. But uh, yeah, you know, before, after. So that concludes the flip on this F-150. Uh, not gonna lie, there were some times where I was just pulling my hair out and really kind of kicked my butt a little bit, but it's gonna make somebody a really good, decent work truck. So here it goes. It is now time for sale. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you next time.